Easy, easy, easy. I'm Hamish. So you face time? Come right here. Subscribe right here. There's a red button. Subscribe. There we go. Okay? I'm Hamish, by the way. Let's get started, man. Easy. Now, let's see. Uh, we have a, a four new Coulomb. Coulomb is a unit of uh, charger, but it's positive charger. Point charger and negative Coulomb. So we say, oh, we have a positive and negative at the point at the point. And then here we have a point A. We don't know the charge of point A, but the distance from these to there is 3, 0 0.3, and here is 0 0.3. What do they want? What do they want? What do they want? Just like the charge have been placed in the figure below. What is the potential difference? So we want to get a potential difference, which is V. What is the potential difference by? V. VA minus VB means so we want to get all VA. Whatever I'm going to get here, I must minus VB. So how are we going to get those charges? It's easy, man. You know what I'm saying? So to get a potential difference, we use this formula right here. Let me show you. We know this when we did it live. Man. Potential difference. So we say, uh, where I'm going to start. Let me start from here. Potential difference. Okay, let's start. This is they say VA minus VB. So potential difference means potential difference. But for charger, you say K times charger times distance. Before we start with A, B, B, that's a potential difference. Okay, potential difference equal to K, which is constant. K is always given, which equal to 9 times 10 power 9. So this K always is constant. 10 power 9. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Unit of K. Charger. So it depends. Like for now, let's start get VA. So VA, K, K is constant, times means if it's VA, we charger. Means from here, Okay, uh, because you want to give VA from here to there. Because you got here to there and here to here. You know what I'm saying? Because from here you can get direction here and here. You know? Now let's go. So, how are we going to get now from A to here? We're going to say KQ. What is a QQ Q equal to positive for? For mu coulomb. But we know mu coulomb. If you want it, you must change this to coulomb. So, from uh, mu coulomb to normal coulomb, like for example, for uh, 4.0 mu coulomb. So if you want to change to Coulomb, you must multiply by 10 power negative 6. So it's going to be 4 times 0 times 10 power negative 6, which is going to be Coulomb now. Okay, so it's going to be 4. Uh, let's change at the end. So it's 4 mu Coulomb, Coulomb, K times 4 mu Coulomb over distance. So distance from A to here is 0 0.3. 0 0.3, you know? So we're done with that. But from A also, look, A, A. So A is we here and also you have to connect it's like we make a triangle here so this is hypotenuse so we have it opposite so from the Pythagoras we know for us to get this distance here means here if you want to get uh, this one this distance here because a to this coulomb and a to here you know what I'm saying so a is connected to two charger so I'm gonna say it must be square root of plus this 0 0.3 square plus of 0 0.4 square I believe you good with Pythagoras, no? Okay. So what I'm gonna do from A, A to here, which we got already, or V A, plus, but we're not done, plus this. So we're gonna say uh K also. Okay. What is the charger? But here to A is negative, so negative four and zero, new chrono. We over distance. But what is the distance for this case from A to here? E square root 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.4 square and then square root because that's a distance from A to this point here. You know what I'm saying? So now what we're going to do here, we can just plug in the calculator. So K we know. So I'm going to say this equal to VA equal to K. I can take K out because K is constant for both. Which is 9 times 10 power 9. Constant, constant. So it's go outside the bracket. So I'm left with 4. So I have to change to Coulomb times 10 power. Negative 6. This is 10. But negative 6 over 0 0.3 Plus now we got negative four point zero times ten power negative nine and then we over by zero point three square plus zero point four square. So we plug in the calculator, so V A we got it. So if you plug in the calculator, try to plug correct, right? Don't worry, maybe my make sometime I make this silly mistake. We get 480. 480, how many zero? Well, one, two, three. One, two, three volt. You know what I'm saying? So this is the potential difference at VA. At VA, because VA here, VA here. Now, let's do the same thing now uh, for VB. And then later we're going to minus. So for VB, it's going to be look, VB means potential difference at here. 
So if you look carefully, it's going to be VB to this point, and VB to that point. So we know how we can get here, you know, because this is like triangle, opposite adjacent. So here, this is square root of this length, 0 0.4 square, plus this length, which is 0 0.3 from the Pythagoras. Just in case if you don't know what Pythagoras, you can go back to my video and learn Pythagoras. You know what I'm saying? Grade 5, grade 6. You know? So now we go, okay, now let's just do the same thing. So for VB, for uh, potential difference at B, Okay, how will the potential difference be? B with this. Oh, so VB equal to, we know, the formula say KQ. So it's going to be KQ. What is Q? QB. Over this distance, which is 0 0.3. What? 0 0.3. And then we plus, now we go here, potential difference with that. Okay, cool. So how are we going to say here? So for this case, we want to say Q. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then here. Okay, let me do this. So, 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 so. Uh, so I can just plug straight away here because you know the uh, charge of B. What is the charge of B? Because Q N means this with this. The distance which is 0 0.3. It's going to be 4, uh, 4 mu coulomb. We're going to substitute later. We're going to change to coulomb. So we plus now B with that. So it's going to be K. And then this is positive now. For positive 4. Mu coulomb, and then we over what is the distance? Our distance is square root, which is 0 0.4 square plus 0 0.3 square. So, what we're going to do now, we can just plug in the calculator. So, VB equal to K, we know K, K is constant, so we can take the K out, but we know the value of K. What is K? K is 9 times 10 power 9. Okay, so now we can change this to our coulomb. So, negative 4 times 10 power negative 6. If you want to change the coulomb to coulomb, and then we plus now, this is 4 times 10 power, negative 6, and then we over, okay, 0 0.4 square plus 0 0.3 square, so square. So VB, plug in the calculator, this is going to give us negative 4A, same thing, but this is going to be negative. 480, 480, 1, 2, 3, okay, volt. Okay, so now, what, what, what we want to get? We want to get the difference between VA minus VB. The A we got, so the A minus V B equals what is that? The A four eight one two three volt minus V B. What is that? V B V B is negative. See, is negative four eight one two three voltios. Okay, so after that, then what we do? Negative negative positive. So since this is positive, it's gonna add. Add you get ninety six one two three volt. So V A minus VB equal to so remember if you if anything is more than 1000 you can divide it by 1000 and then it's going to become kilo it's like for example if somebody give you uh, 2000 uh, gram so what does that mean or let's say 20,000 gram so what you're going to do there you can divide that by 1000 to make it kilogram so if I divide this by 1000 it's going to be 20 but it's not gram it's kilogram so same here so I can divide by 1,000, and this is going to be 96 kilovolt. Kilovolts. Oh, you can say KV, KV. So now VA minus VB equal to 96 KV. Okay? Did I answer the question? Let me see. Yeah! Uh. So you face time, man. Make sure you subscribe here. Share to a lot of people. I believe you learn from me. You learn from how I do things. You learn from me. Easy, man. Let's go.